Tina, thank you. Well, according to a survey by Career Builder, 34% of colleagues that dated ended up marrying. But as legal expert Michelle Anderson tells us, many employers have struggled in dealing with relationships that struggle into the workplace. Now, Michelle, we appreciate you stopping Great. by. Thanks so thank much. You. So this is actually a really interesting topic. So let's talk about first, what are some of the do's and don'ts for sure. those dating within the workplace? Certainly. I would say if you can avoid dating in the workplace, that's probably best. But certainly if you're going to, it shouldn't be casual dating because if you think about that, most relationships that are casual end and they can end badly. Mm -hmm. And so certainly you don't want that playing out in the workplace. You also want to know, does your employer have a policy against dating in the workplace? It may not be a written policy. Of course, I advise employers, you should have a written policy if you expect the employees to follow it. But there might be something that says, well, supervisors and subordinates should not date because certainly that could be a recipe for disaster and could lead to a sexual harassment claim. But in general, if you're going to be dating in the workplace, you should know um, we're not going to be sending inappropriate text messages or email to one another. We're not going to be canoodling at the desk. Really, people shouldn't know you're in, in a relationship. And if it ends, then we're going to act like adults and we're not going to have drama in the workplace. Right. So once someone does kind of start officially, you know, having a relationship with a coworker, is there something they need to immediately do? Do they need to kind of alert their employer or talk about that? Some employers would say yes. Uh, they may have a requirement to go to human resources or to another management member to say we're having a workplace relationship and they may have them enter into what we call the love contract for lack of a better description. Uh, but basically it says this relationship is consensual. Uh, this is not a violation of our sexual harassment policy. We agree to keep our relationship out of the workplace and to keep things professional at work. And should it end, we agree not to retaliate against one another in the workplace. So again, it's, it's pretty significant to decide to enter into a relationship with someone you're working with, mm -hmm. and it shouldn't be taken lightly. But I have seen uh, some workplace romances work out and end up in marriage, and they're still happily married to this day and have children. So it's not impossible, but you have to really go into it with your eyes open, and oftentimes we we see um, these, these problems play out in workplaces that have a lot of younger single folks in the retail industry, the hospitality mm -hmm. industry, even the technology industry. And so a lot of times those folks may not be thinking about their lifelong partner and they're just thinking about getting the date. And so uh, employers in those industries really have to be clear about their expectations because a lot of those folks have never even had a professional job before. So they're just kind of learning yeah. what's appropriate. Just learning. And like you said, all great <laughs> tips. And like you said, it can actually end up in a, a marriage and you know a great life but that's great it's got to be smart absolutely all right well michelle we appreciate great. you stopping Thank you. by it was a pleasure and all good tips now again the most way the most way co-workers end up together are late nights on the job happy hours after work lunch and meetings outside of work and the top five industries for office romances are hospitality utilities transportation and financial services